natural hair i haven't done any video any updates so far on my hair so this is an update for my hair um so anyways i just finished working out i just did cardio with at work so yeah so like i'm in a point where like my hair every time I'm, i keep washing it and it's not that because you know, i work out five days five days in a week okay and i wash my hair like basically like every because i feel dirty if i don't wash my hair after working out because all the sweat dripping disgusting so i decided that i was gonna do a protective styling and i'm gonna try this style for a couple of months and see what happens i mean right now i have been in like one rose i try to do it while it was wet because my hair is pretty um like fine when it's wet so and i don't want i don't want to let it dry up because i might get lazy to do it so i put it in like these little corn rolls and as you can see this is this is what i'm working with and washing it is is too much for me like if i spent 45 minutes to an hour trying to detangle my hair because it has so many knots in there like if i don't wash this hair like every time after working out like if i don't wash it let's say if i don't wash it on sunday well i wash it on sunday going to church and then monday is my day off and then i don't wash it on monday because i'm a day off and then tuesday wednesday thursday friday if i don't wash it one of those days and i just keep it in the bun like dang that thing will be knotted when i go to the shower to try to wash my hair it'll be all like knots and ugh. so i gotta use a lot of conditioner to try to take those knots out and it's just too much I guess those 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 are just one of the cons of having a having natural hair because all the knots that come with natural hair. I suppose when your hair is super straight, like you don't have to worry about those knots. You just go to the shower and just wash it, and it's all done and finished. But with natural hair, it's just a little different. It just it just takes a lot more patience and time. So I went to the beauty store and bought some hair. I'm gonna try to do shade braids. And, um, and see how long that's gonna last me. I forgot to bring the hair with me. It's in my bedroom. But basically, it's the um the Toyoka long, um straight wavy hair. I was trying to do the invisible braids, but I didn't find that hair in my beauty store. So I just bought the Toyoka long hair, and I will try to do those crochet hair braids and stuff, and see how long my hair will last. Cause um this my hair is just and right now it is so long so washing it is in those tangles is just too much like i'd rather have short hair because i mean i i like my hair when it was short when i had a big chop when i had a twi teeny weeny afro twa twi twa went teeny weeny afro you just wash it you don't want that bone up knots but like once this hair is it gets long like it's too much knots yeah so um so i think i'm gonna have a video of me doing the crochet braids or i'll have somebody do it for me maybe my sister will do it for me because i have kids and i don't want to keep stopping and coming back i just want to get it done with and move on with life <sighs> so guys so basically that's it like i didn't have much to say oh yeah and i think i found out like things that are good for my hair is coconut oil um anything that has coconut in it it'll make my hair thrive and i try to stay away from like jamaican castor oil olive oil is terrible for my hair like it makes it clamp up like mush like dreadlocks like seriously i put um i put olive oil the other day man my hair was like matted like it i was like oh my goodness i was so disappointed <sighs> So now I know like what kind of stuff to use in my hair. And I remember my mom used to use coconut oil all the time back in the day when I was little. And my hair used to be so shiny, used to be thriving. And I didn't even know until now, like coconut oil is like the thing for my hair. You know, yeah. Anything that has coconut oil in it, it'll make my hair thrive. Like right now I have coconut oil. I put conditioner and I put coconut oil on it to seal the moisture and like it's it's good so i think you should just learn about your hair learn about your body because 
it's not going to be the same as somebody else's. And that's why you're not going to compare yourself with other people. You should always do you. Like, be confident. Like, do whatever makes you confident. Like, seriously. Because, like, you know, if, some, if you're not happy with something, you know, love the way you are. But, like, if something you can change that you don't love about yourself, like, my boobies, I really don't love my boobies right now. Like, I'm always saying God love. Like, seriously, like, why did you have to make us go through this? <laughs> so, yeah. But, yeah, but it's, it is what it is, you know. you know. As long as your heart is pure and your intentions are pure, as long as you're doing it for you and you're not doing it to get attention from men, because that's not good. Like, if you're doing it for you and to make yourself happy, then that's awesome. For the men, like, don't do stuff to make women happy. Like, do it to make yourself happy because in the end of the day it's all about you it's not about the other person it's all about you you know but yeah so anyways um that's all for now until tune in for my next video i know i'm talking so low because like it's so early right now people still sleeping i'm not trying to be rude or dis disrespectful um so guys that's it for this video until next time guys bye